back, I'm back, I'm back. I'm going to put my stock. Please, I still got you on the list. Come on in, come on in, come on in. Okay, I see one person up in here. Hey, Annabelle, how are you doing, my baby? Okay, I'm going to wait and let some people get up in here real quick. Come on in, come on in. These are some of the best oxtails that I've had. I think I'm going to have me some... Uh, Either some pig feet today, pig feet today, or I'm thinking about interviewing my cousin and seeing if he want. Maybe we'll go out and eat somewhere. But I had to come in here and do this video. What up, Ellen? Hey, Mr. Officer. Hey, Freedom Baby. What's going on? I'm doing great. You make me hungry. <laughs> Freedom, I missed you, my look. I went out last night, right? Just happened to go to a party. And they paid me. Mike, get up and do some comedy. So I got up and did some comedy. Quick little money. Quick little money. And you know what? As I was doing that comedy, I thought about it. Hey, Miss BB. Hey, Coleman. Hey, everybody. Hey, Deborah. I love our So Yes, they are expensive. Thank God that I was able to get some shout out to my subscribers. <laughs> so, anyway, <clears throat> as I was doing this comedy last night, just let the spur of the moment. And I was saying to myself, wow, look how blessed you are. Not everybody could get up at the spur of the moment. And uh, you got to say it's not for the kids laugh out loud or we can't tire. Okay, I see that. So at this spur of the moment, I realized, you know what? That's a gift that most people don't have, right? Oh, that's so good. And in these YouTube streets, hey, Rock, just living my baby in here. Hey, hey. Okay. So as I was at this party last night, Feeling good, having a couple of cocktails. And I said, Mike, would you do some comedy? We'll pay you. What up, NC? So look, I got a, okay, much better. The cab support live chat was not working. Yeah, I, it was messed up. So I got up, I did the comedy. They laughed. Hell, most of the time I make myself laugh even more. And I got out, and then I realized, I said, you know what? Hey, Sonny, I said, that is a talent. Most people don't even tap into their talents, right? And as I got off the, um, got up from, um, well, standing there doing the comedy, and everybody was like, oh, my God, you're so funny. I enjoy you. And tell my Lord, I'm having a party, and I want you, I want you to, you know, do this with my Hey, hey, everyone, can't type nail shop. Okay. So everybody was like, look, I want you to come and can you do this party for me? And hey, our short. So I made some contact. And then I realized too, you have some people in life that are trying to find what their purpose is. You have some people in life that will never realize what their purpose is or their gift is. You have somebody, some people that have the gift of gab. The 
if that works for you, that works for you, right? Just like this YouTube stream. When you, if you notice, you look at some channel. Hey, Michael, who looks to this? I'm, I finished. I'm finished the book. It's been almost two weeks now. You know what? I have to call her today to set up the interview with her and myself. This is oxtails and, and peppers and potatoes and all of that. So anyway, you have a lot of people that will never find out what their true purpose is, their true calling is, their true talent in life. And when you have people like that, those are the people that will use other people and highlight other people and not their own. If you go through these YouTube streets and you look at all these different channels, you'll see some people that have their own content, will talk about their own thing. Hey, Lisa D's delight. You have other, you, if you go through these YouTube streets and look at these channels, you will find when you look at, have, have, did you ever go to anybody's channel and you notice it's nothing about them, it's all about other people? It's all about other people. It's like their channel isn't even about them. It's about other people. You have some channels where, this is what I've never understood. You have some channels where, let's take Adrian and, and, and that stuff, where their whole thing is about Adrian. Or... You have some channels, this is my comrade, just had this conversation with my nephew this morning. You have some channels where, because I don't get this. Why, if you sit there and you just play Adrian's video, all you doing is playing Adrian's video, you ain't saying nothing. Hell, I can go watch Adrian's video. Why am I watching yours? I think that that is like one of the stupidest things for me to just record your video Put it on my page and why? Why not do why not go over there and watch Adrian's video? Don't that make sense? You have some people that just sit there and all they do is just talk. One particular young lady, she did this little clapback video on me. Hey Michael and the Queen. And look, she lays there on a pillow. Hair ain't never done. And and she talks about she has this thing about Nicole, um, B-Love's sons. I ain't seen one video about her damn self. You have some people in there that it's just about other people. You know, people, my sister do reaction videos, that's her thing. But she do so many other things. And that's because people have not found what their purpose is. They have not found what their purpose is. A lot of this shit they go on the YouTube street, that's what it is. They're going back and forth. That's exactly what the fuck it is. And, and some people should be happy that I even do come back when I do. That's just me. But besides the clapback and shit, what else do you have to offer? What else are you do you have to offer? That's what some of these channels need to ask themselves. Well, I was wondering what that. Oh, that's outside. What else? Just like Lisa D's Delight by YouTube of the Week. When you go to her thing, you know that she's got good food and you know what I'm saying? It's about her. But when y'all go and y'all look at some of these damn channels, what else do they have to offer if it if it was not about somebody else? Same thing I be saying about my, yeah. What else would they have to offer? What else? My bro, I mean, me and Landry, Andrew, he gives you a variety, right? I'm like, where's she at, Carmen? She don't get a day off. I'm just saying this. I was sitting here thinking about that. I said, most of the time, I'm giving people what they want because, you know, I don't give a damn. But 
other than this clapback shit, right? Other than this going back and forth, you got one person that all she do, she try to go hard. You going off on people. But what else can you do besides that? Can you show, can you, can you cook a dish? Can you cook a dish? Can you help video blog? Hey, Black Fly, what else can you do? How about just take a page out of my book and, and pick somebody and, and, and shout them out. Give them a platform. Then maybe your platform might grow. Maybe your platform might might grow. Because you know what? Because at the end of the day, people spend too much time worrying about other people instead of the but come on somebody. If we take a if, if it was a rule in YouTube that you could not talk about nobody else, you had to talk about yourself, a lot of these motherfucking channels would be silent. If it was a rule on YouTube that you could not speak on anybody else, what the fuck would you talk about? I challenge these channels out here. Do one show. Do do one channel just talking about your damn self. Don't use nobody else's content. Don't use nobody else's video. Just do one video where you talk about yourself. Some of y'all video be very quiet. Because some of you are boring as hell. And I would not want that to be a representation of me. Mm. I do that and get no views back of my ass. I'm just serious. I understand. Tell her I love Miss Harker. I understand that some people are boring. Some people are boring. They can't do it, Mike. That's what I'm never saying. People, please show your face, too. It helps. For a week only. For a week only, film your own content. That's a good, yeah. That is a challenge I put out there to all these channels. The ones that I, I, I get into it with and whatever. Let me put this channel out, challenge out to you. Do a video without talking about nobody else but yourself. Show your face. And talk about yourself. Don't use no Adrian video. Don't talk about her. Don't talk about my sister, me. Don't talk about nobody but yourself. Do that. Do that. And you know, a lot of y'all probably couldn't do it. There are some channels I look at, and I look at everybody's channel, whether I like their ass or not, just to stay abreast of things. And I'm like, this whole, this whole video was nothing about them. It was about somebody else. You go through their whole library of videos, and ain't nothing about them. It's about somebody else. You can go through my playlist. You can go through my playlist, and you'll see so many different variety of videos. Most of them is not about anybody but me. <clears throat> Thank you, Keisha, baby. I love you too, Michael. Not calling no names, but one of the T-channels showed herself in the video on her just last week. Did you not see it? You know what? I might have seen it, but like I said, I really, even though I clap back on some of them, and, and, and look, that's me not just being me. I really don't watch the T-channels because it's not about them. You're right, Michael. Try getting your own content. The reason I don't watch a lot of those T channels, shout out to them if that's what they think their thing is. But I can go watch the original video. I don't need to watch 
you show their video. That's what I don't get. I don't need to come to your channel to watch somebody else's video that I can go to their channel. I'd rather give them the damn view. So I don't get that. So I, And then, I'm not good at watching channels. I don't like watching anything where I don't see the person that that's talking to me. Let me see your face. That's just me. I'm an eye-to-eye -eye contact. I like to look you in your eyes, see what you're doing. Just like I tell people, oh, okay, I'm not on the T-Channel side of YouTube. And I'm also like this. Like I was telling Lisa D's Delight, I say, look, when people cook, when you cook, even on anything, I like to see you eat your food. I want to see you eat your food because that way I can tell whether you like it. You can't hide that. You eat some shit and it don't taste good. Your face going to tell it. And I'm just one of those type of people. That's exactly what everyone loves. Loves you in Philly Field. Y'all definitely not no one-trick pony. You are versatile. You're going to always win. You in Philly Field name is ringing these YouTube. I know. And you know what? Because that's the next hot thing. Oh, me and my sister name will pass and it'll be somebody else. Oh, we'll pass and it'll be somebody else. But while that's happening, our subscriber count is going up. Um, my sister's still, you know, doing her thing. First of all, shout out to my sister. I love her. Sometimes she get me mad as hell, but I love her. Um, at the end of the day, all of this shit will play out. Me and my sis won't be the topic no more, just like Adrian and Walt ain't the topic no more. And you have to find other things to talk about. But baby, you see some of these channels go from talking about one person to another. That's all they gonna do. But I don't have to talk about anybody. I'll give it a week. I Listen, here's my, my challenge. For a week, I will not, after this video, mention anybody else's name and just do me. And watch me still have the views. Watch people still enjoy it because at the end of the day, when you have to take all those layers off, or well, you have to take all the layers off. Do y'all get what I'm saying? If it was a rule that you had to talk about nobody but yourself, do you know how many people probably would set their channels down? Go to your channel page, fill this, and click on your avatar, then upload that pic. Always a pleasure. Yes, colorful. Hey, Jeanette. Just love Miss Philly Field. Regina Stokes. Hey, hello, Catherine Chat. Amen. Oh, you can put your picture of Philly Clam. You, Philly Field, that's awesome. <coughs> you and Philly Field. But <coughs> sometimes I look at some of these channels, and these people have a following. They actually have a loyal following. And you say to yourself, what the fuck is they following them for? What the hell are they following them for? But you know what? That go that old saying is always somebody for everybody. That's right, Michael. Put all your energy into those wonderful cooking videos and story time. Come on, somebody. Look, have you ever looked at a channel and be like, who in the fuck would watch this? Who in the hell would watch that? But like they say, mm. there's somebody for everybody, right? Um, I want to talk about the same thing as they say. I mean, they don't stop talking about others. That's what we just, that's all it is. If you go through YouTube, you would know notice some channel, you ain't shit excited about your damn self. There's nothing interesting about yourself that you have to talk about somebody else. Don't let the haters get to you. I see your names, even outside I can but let them, let them uh, bring that traffic. You know, and I have to say that. That's why I need your play. <laughs> oh, let me see that. It's funny how I barely get views, but people always say my 
lingo, laughing my ass off. It's funny. Some people live for drama because they're miserable. I don't have a YouTube channel. From, you know what? They do. And I was sitting here. After I did the little video last night, you know me, I'll get tipsy and do a video in, in a minute. And, and some people came in. And they say what they said. That's, the, that's those people that love the, those channels. First of all, I have to say that everyone say they want positivity, but run to those channels that's always talking about other people. Like, I mean, every day, bro, let it go. That's what I'm always saying. You know, you'll see a video of me and my mama just laughing and talking or um, me doing food reviews. Other thing, I found out about you by someone shading you, and you okay with me. You know what? They can shave me all damn day long. Shave me if that's the click and views they need. Trust me. It doesn't bother me. First of all, people with these YouTube seats have to realize I ain't met none one of them motherfuckers face to face. Ain't none one of them have I ever been in their presence. So they make no motherfucking difference in my life. I can do. Matter of fact, you have to realize this. Thank God for my subscribers, my 4C gang. I love y'all. I love y'all. I love y'all. But I did not get to 11K by talking about other people. And, and God willing, I'll keep moving on up. I did not get there by talking to uh, talking about other people. I got there on my own recognizance. I got there on who I am, what I give, what I offer, my cooking ability, my ability to make folks laugh. Uh, yes, Mike, a whole channel is bad. Super yeah. How about I got there and, you know, it really trips me out when people say, oh, first of all, when y'all say I do, it, not y'all, but some people I've heard, oh, they, he just did it for clicks and views. I don't get paid for a click or a motherfucking view. So that there is just, I do it because that's, I like doing it. I do it because that's who I am. I do it because I love my 4C gang, the baddest gang in these motherfucking streets. Um, I, okay, hold on. You have a channel because you are in the chat. So go to what? Say, okay. Okay, well, that's coming to You are right, Michael. I watch some videos that are boring. I watch them to support them, but they gossip because they don't have a platform. They just want a YouTube page. Exactly. Exactly. Spit that real shit, Mike. But it's good. Okay. Yes, Michael, whole channel is bashing for. Hit the thumb. You seen that too. But I'ma tell you this as well. Those channels are the new internet gossip column. It's the opinion about people they don't even know. But after they have nothing, that is my point exactly. Hey, Vina. But listen to them. If and this is one thing I've never done. I'm just saying. You have some channels out here that are at a certain point with their subscribers, right? And so if you can get a, a channel that has way more subscribers to you, whether it's a good beef or bad beef, you are being seen by those people, their, their platform, their subscriber. So a lot of time we fall, because I, I know two damn channels right now that love the beef with me and, my, and even my sis. Because you know what? It makes people go over there, the people that's following us, go over to them and say, hey, you know, that's just like me. There's so many other channels with way more subscribers than me. Y'all don't see me going to them, starting some shit to have their people. Because you know, what's for you is for you. What God has for you is for you. Well, I need some more cool air. What God has for you is you. And you better be careful how you get subscribers. Be careful. How you get subscribers. Be careful what you do to get subscribers. Uh, please, please. Girl, you laugh because I stepped away. Thank you, Coleman. I appreciate your support. Okay, thank you, Black Light. Michael, you are versatile and provide a variety of content. You are intelligent and damn funny. Thank you, DRT. Uh, let other people say it, I'm not funny, but I get paid to do it, so somebody think I'm funny. Hi, Renee. Hey, Phyllis. For sure, Keisha, you are great. You lied. Hear me? 
Look, be careful how what you do to get um subscriber. There is nothing that I have done. Thank you for that. I'm not a YouTuber and I love my there is nothing I have done in these YouTube streets that I, I could sit back and say, I can't believe I did that, to get subscribers. Faithful subscribers. 4C gang, but a lot, you know, a lot of that, you can even tell about a person in the, in, the, in the name of their damn channel. In the name of their damn channel. I, I put this challenge out. Do a go a week YouTube channels, especially you cheat channels, the cheat channel, and talk about your damn self for one week. Don't use nobody else's video. Don't speak nobody else's name. Let us know who you are. Let all your content be about you. And let's see how interesting you are. Let's see how interested you are. Don't try to think that sound good and show your face. <laughs> show your face. Talk about nobody but your damn self. My thing is I don't mind them giving an opinion, but it continues two to three weeks later. It's no longer your opinion. Now be you just be messy. Exactly. I've been one that challenge left my ass off. That's easy. Right, show, show your faith. Stop talking about other people. You know, I didn't even know what T-channels were until I happened to look. And you have a lot of people that don't think they're T-channels. Oh, I can call out some names of the people that don't do nothing but talk about other people. Other people. Michael, you know damn well you didn't already won that challenge. I'm serious. Kill me how they love to talk behind that screen. Exactly. Hello, hello, everyone in the chat. Just dropping in the car. Don't have my eyeglasses on. Thank, I, I don't show face all the time, though, laugh aloud. But I'm just serious. And they go hard. What up, family Mackey? These They go hard on other people. I look at some of them that they never even have contact with. Co contact with that Adrian shit. You can go look at some people's channels where they go hard, they was going hard on Adrian. The only reason I went hard on Adrian because that was an interaction we had. Some of these people ain't never even talked to Adrian and going hard. You don't even know her. I went hard because of the interaction me and her had. Which she said to me on the phone. But y'all other people, y'all really kind of old Adrian. It's still, to this day, there's video where they letting her have it. I see one video where somebody said, um, Adrian Holman. I don't have that energy, enough energy to, and then old boy wants to say, my sister talked about Walt and she ain't getting the Walt check. Baby, they still talking about Asia and all that. Those are the people. Yes, I don't like it. I'm going to call them out. Wanda, stay in <laughs> Say that, Black Lion. That's who I was talking about, too. <clears throat> What's up? Hey, Tanya. Black Lion said, yes, I don't like it. I'm going to call it out. Wanda, is stay coming for Adrian. I don't get it. I don't get it. You right. Why to let us see something else from you? But if that's her niche, all she do is just talk about other people. That gets boring after a while. That gets fucking boring. Black Lives, let her live. Hey, Michael and Chad, I like Adrian. She be having me so weak. Now, you know, I like Adrian too. You know, I think she a little cuckoo. She goes to the left sometimes, but that's her. They need to leave my girl Adrian alone. Right, and listen, ain't none of them even had an interaction with her. Your sis was Walt's first collab. That's how I found her channel. I just wasn't comedy much. Okay, Coleman. Honey, still on Uncle Walt. 
boy jealous about yeah see she's busy that's how i found out about you now she got other people from that side coming at you you know what i don't give a fuck who she has coming at me it makes no difference in my life because it was a time i didn't know her until she talked about me so me giving it back but that's good you know what they didn't talk about me from all my motherfucking life, and they still ain't stopped me from being who I am. Phyllis Clem, I love you. I love you too. She a little nuts up, but I like it. Hey, my hey, Matrice. Um, so true. Fact, fact, fact. I'm not talking about Adrian. I'm talking about the girl who said she homeless, but no names. Exactly. She was begging for a collab. Now she's back talking about her sad. Right. Exactly. You built for this shit, my exactly. Look, <clears throat> don't y'all know that there's people coming from other channels. Somebody was in my channel today, tomorrow. Ooh, so-and-so. You know what? That's a good thing. Stick up for your people. I don't mind that. I don't mind that. You know what happened today? I paid my motherfucking rent. <laughs> I ain't homeless. It makes no difference in my life. And I did not get my subscriber count by what other motherfuckers and other channels thought about me. My, my, my count is going up, not down. You know what? Sometimes you have to look at people when they, people, <coughs> when I look at it, and first of all, when I look at somebody and they don't, their subscriber count isn't even up. That's because you're not even showing who you are. Why would you want people to see how many subscribers you got? I want you to look at my subscriber, subscriber count because I want you to keep going up. I'm going to stick up for my, I'm loyal. Don't come for my foes. I know that's right, Regina. I'm going to say you out of shit. Salute. I don't do chat gangster or screaming on no live. Right. Hello, Mike. I absolutely love your channel. Thank you, Ramika. I love you too, Michael. You make my day. You know what? What you eat? I'm eating red bone. I'm eating oxtails and um, potatoes and carrot. But I really, any YouTube stream, it's nothing for your person going hard for you. I get that. Because my 4C gang go hard for me. But when all your channel is, is talking about other people, Hey, my, hey, Beatrice, how, how's Mama Michael? Give her my love simply because she made you your silly stuff. Yes, she did keep the comedy, sir. But my thing is that if your channel is nothing but other people's shit, other people's content, let us know about you. Who are you? What are you about? Yeah, you could do a video on Adrian. Yeah, you could do a video on me. You could do a video on my set. But what are you about? What do you do? That's right, Michael. We go hard for you because we love you. What's up? Yes, how many times can you call me a sissy? <laughs> Were you real folks sure you would love Shower you love. Yeah, how many times can you call me a sissy? Oh, he's he drinks. Okay. What else? After all of that. I hate to hide in your son's mesh. Why we can't see where you what we're a part of. Exactly. Show me your son. That's I, I always like I tell when I make people YouTubers of the week, the first thing I say is, show your son. That's my you the true peer. Show your son. Let us see where, where you're at. When I show my son, they help me get to it. They will push me. Oh, we're going to get you the 8,000. We're going to get you the 10,000. We're going to get you the 11,000. Let us see the progress. I think we owe our subscribers that much. I, you know, be real and truthful with your subscribers. But after a while, if, if it was a point where you couldn't talk about nobody else, what would you have to talk about? And I'm having a cocktail. 
But what else, what could you talk about? Now, if they put that challenge out there that I couldn't drink for a week, now I might fail that motherfucking challenge. <laughs> but, what, what you cooking tomorrow? I'm thinking about doing some uh, pig feet or some chicken or something. I had chicken in a minute. But, I'm just saying, come on, people. Come on. Y'all want me to be the first one to wave the white flag and say, let's not talk about each other? Let me wave the white flag and say, let's not talk about each other. I don't care how tipsy I get, I ain't gonna talk about it. But what I do want is, let me see you talk about nothing but your motherfucking self. See, a lot of people can't do that. But then they'll realize how motherfucking boring they are. That's just, boy, no constant challenge. Show yourself, show yourself, I want to see you. How about that? Do a whole video talking about nobody else but your damn self. I'm kind of interested in that. There's a couple of channels. I would literally watch the whole video just to see what could they talk about. I just noticed you're, you are left-handed. I'm at pedestrians. Okay, yeah, I'm left-handed. My mom is left-handed as well. Don't wait. After a while, y'all see us clapping back, going back and forth. Don't that really get boring? I really believe. Like I said, how many times can you call me a sissy and fan? <laughs> I've been called that all my motherfucking life. So that, but let me see you. Did I miss your chicken recipe? I don't know, but I'm going to do some chicken to give Delta. Let me see, what are you about? Unless the only thing you're about is talking about other people. I'm gonna do a good 15 minutes of myself, Michael, and I'm gonna let me have it. Right. See, the one thing about me, I was telling somebody there, I said, Everybody should be trying to uplift each other. Okay, man. I was telling somebody this. I said, nobody could write a tell-all book about me because I already tell it all. They would fade fast. They can't do it. Exactly. There's a lot of channels on here that we don't know nothing about the person. All we know is they good at talking about other people. I could not have a channel where all I do is go, my twin boy left hand, okay. You have some channels out here where all they do is go and look at other people's shit and then come and talk about it. Michael, it was a whole channel that made a video about me. I'm not even dead, <laughs> bothered much, okay? That's right, tell your own story and change, charge to come to your book side. <coughs> exactly. Exactly. <coughs> now, my sister do reaction video, and that's her thing. I just don't care for them. If I react to something, it got to be just something out there. But other than that, I'm going to get on this motherfucker right here. I'm going to be talking shit. I'm going to make people. You know, it really touches my heart when people say, my God, Michael, you made my day. You know what? I get up just to listen to you. You make me laugh. And me making people laugh don't just be about other people. It be about my own stories, my own fucking life, what I've been through. I don't need to go through here and look at other people's shit to make me relevant. I've been dragged. Those and everything in these streets. These folks bring up cheering parents. At, you know what? I don't give a fuck what they talk about. Now, if you're going to go there and you're going to drag somebody, you can say whatever the hell you want. 
But besides all of that, what are, the fuck are you about? What are you about? What is it about you? Sharon, hey, Michael, can't get enough of you. Thank you, baby. That's my thing. And trust and believe, anything that anybody say about me, you should be happy I'm even giving you a reaction back to it. It doesn't fucking bother me. And if I want to clap back, I'll clap back. And if I don't, I won't. Good question. I wonder, do they even know? Some people don't know their motherfucking self. That's why they all they can do is talk about other people. What is your channel about? Outside of everybody else's shit. Talk about your own shit. I'm going to start a channel. My first reaction video is going to be Uncle Walt Wait Must Be Packing. <laughs> Uh, good question. I wonder do they even know. All we know is they have a sister day. Charlotte, I'm just playing. Let me stop. Fun shade. <laughs> hey, uh, exactly. Exactly. Just like black lives. Well, black lives, you know, everybody do a black life. Everybody do a reaction video. And when I made her, everybody said, oh, he gon' get her. He gon' drag her. Sometimes you gotta go against the grain. I ain't gonna give you what y'all would expect. And um, I made a YouTuber of the week. Then they came at it for that. See, some people don't like nothing but mess. You can do a, a good, positive video and still get some thumbs down. I did a fucking video, a tribute to Andre, Sweetie Pie's grandson. And it was just nothing but happy birthday. Do you know it was still some thumbs down? Because it's some people so motherfucking unhappy with their motherfucking self. You have some people wake up in the morning just to hate on somebody. You have some people that wake up in the morning just to hate on somebody. Like, that's how they get off. Have you ever seen somebody like that? Just negative Nancy. Ain't got shit positive to say. All they can do is talk about somebody. It look roasting fun. And it, it's fuck, but it's uh, they all they got. Yeah. Hey, come here, Michael. Hey, Lucinda, baby. Hey, Michael Allen, your life stopped me from catching a case. Come on, Riri Jones. Hey, Chad. Hello, Michael. Hey, Mary Wilder, my baby. Hey, Michael, I want to come to Detroit and meet you, Sister Debbie King. <laughs> All right, fellas, I would love that. Uh, hey, listen, everybody was sending you love in here. Yes, we love us some Lucinda. Hi, Michael, you are a teacher and a motivator. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, love to learn. Thank you, Marilyn. Uh, uh, hey, Lucinda, hey, Court. yes, you better tell it. People better get some love and self-worth about themselves. These streets were real. I mean, come on, at the end of the day. Just like some of these channels need to learn. I cannot stand when somebody comes in and, and try to go for one of the people in my life. You was just that so-and-so. You, you fake. This is not motherfucking high school. Stop talking about somebody being in somebody else's life. They can be wherever the fuck they want. This ain't no pick and choose. Misery loves company. That is, come on, yeah. You can't pick and choose who. Like, what the hell would I like to about? If if you if you for me, you can't be in that other chat. No, be wherever the fuck you want to be. Uh, they need a hug. Rock just lived. When I first came around on YouTube, the streets was ringing on Watts and Santa Nisha. Yes. It was entertaining because the relationship between them was so public. They were YouTube popper. Yeah. The AC radio. But I never thought that my sister and I, you know, it's so funny when you when you look at a video or you go through these comments and you see a picture of your face. And you say, you know, it's hard not to watch it when you see your face, right? And um uh, to see a couple of videos, I'm going, wow. 
None of them really, you know, of course y'all know me. I'm petty as hell. I'll react to some of them. But some of them, I won't even give them the time of day. Some of them, I won't even mention their motherfucking name. Hey, come in my hey, she radius, baby. Michael, I first started watching your channel when Tim Dover had got arrested. Yeah, now I will tell you that the uh, Sweetie Pie video it took me over the top. I got almost two hundred thousand views on that uh, on that video. My my reaction to Tim Norman. My sister kept telling me, "You need to talk about it." I was like, "No," because that wasn't me. I did that damn video on Tim Norman. My phone just kept, I was like, oh my God. It was just comment after comment. My subscriber count kept going. You know, I keep telling everybody, get you one good damn video. I came around when that girl, Kanika Jenkins, was found in the dead, dead in the freezer. See, stuff like that, I can see people talking about it. But when you go to somebody's channel and all they doing is talking about the same person every single day, you more into their lives than the person whose life it is. Wait, Rock, what is that? Rock still are, they are my folks too. These YouTube streets is messy and horrible. Too many jealous people. It is. Did it turn crazy on my side of the street. Hey, Phyllis Righteous Living. Hey, sis. Lucinda, you hit it on the head. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Back then, you had to do lives and panels, though. Hangouts, this was 2017. If they talk about your mom, you have a right to clap back. It's a woman or a man. I don't give a... Listen, I don't give a fuck who it is. If I feel like I want to clap back, I'm going to clap back. But that's not all my channel is about. I can cuss your ass out and show you how to make a tuna casserole. <laughs> I can cuss your ass out and show you the best restaurant in Detroit. I can cuss your ass out but give you a good story of how I grew up and, and my upbringing. I can cuss your ass out, but I can also show you my mama who I love so much. There's different facets to me. There's different sides. I'm not a one-trick pony. And that's what a lot of these channels are. They are one-trick pony. Let me use my sister Rock Just Living. You can see Rock Just Living cooking. She'll also show you her shopping. I think her daughter is the best uh, person to, to talk a motherfucker down when it comes to a price. So we, we like to see that. We like to see the person that we're dealing with. You know what? People know when they come to my channel what they're going to get. They know what they're going to get. I'm like, hey, I'll give you tours of Detroit. I'll tell you stories, memories. That's what I do. And see, when you real like that, because after a while, somebody's going to get tired of you just always talking about somebody or talking about the same old shit every day. Every day talking about the same damn shit, the same damn person. Come on. That's it. She read us. Hey, hey, hey. Everything started gravitating left. Getting too personal and negative. My anxiety level started going through the roof. I like good vibes. I love your channel, Michael. Forcey Game for Life. Rock's just living. You, you know what I know. Now, <clears throat> I know that it's sometime, and I have to get on myself about it, that I'll let people take me there. Because we human. We do that. But like I say, after doing that little party, just Michael Gibbons did some comedy and making that little money, I realized, you know what? You have a talent that most people won't even tap into their talent. You don't have to talk about nobody, Michael, to be relevant. I don't. I don't have to talk about anybody to be relevant. And when I do talk about it, that's exactly what they want. And I sometimes you have to give a bitch what they want. You know, you have people, and look, these are the people that really trip me out. When they have nothing in their life 
but come for you harder than the person you went for. And sometimes I, so I said, bitch, blah, blah, blah. I said, okay, now that you said that, did that make my life any different? Bitch, I'm still breathing. <laughs> I mean, take your time. What they call them, trolls. I ain't got time to go troll nobody's shit. Nobody, I ain't trolling anybody's shit. Period, poo. Right. Michael, I came in with the 10 Norman and was took every since. Thank you, Catherine. Hey, Tanya. I'm hungry. I got to find me something to eat. Y'all know why I ate this and I'm still hungry. Hi, Michael and Chat. Thanks, Lucinda. I've been here just had to put clothes in the wash. Okay, okay. Not to two the casserole. You know what? I hate two the casserole. I hate two the casserole. I love Rock Just Living Pretty Deep. Yes, that's my YouTuber of the week. What are my YouTubers of the week? Hey, Lynette. How are you? Real talk. I'm just sick. Come on, somebody. I started my channel 3.13.20 on my sick bed, Michael. Just being obedient. It was red. It was really for me to laugh, to keep from crying. But, God, I started my channel. You started your channel on my birthday? That's my birthday. Wow. Oh, my sick bed. Just being obedient. Come on. You know what? Trust and believe. Come on, somebody say that. Come Michael Allen. You definitely are not a one-trick pony. You definitely have my levels. Many levels. You have to. Because after a while, it becomes boring. After a while, if I could click onto your channel and I already know exactly what I'm going to get every fucking time, every day of time, hey, chat with common sense, baby. Every time I come to your channel, I now it's different. If, hell, even mukbang people eat different shit. What up, buddy? Hey, LeBert. But my thing is, is some of them go so hard like they actually know the person. Michael, you have people that truly love you just the way you are. Keep us laughing. You can only be you. God makes masterpieces. Yes. Thank you, Keisha. Hi, Michael. Greetings from Texas. Hello, everyone. Love you and your conversations and cooking. Thank you, Elaine. Shingles, thank you. You know, I just get so, at some point, it gets boring. It gets tired. Yeah, I'm, I'll call some fucking names out. You know, every time you watch Wanda Willie, what she gonna, what she gonna talk about? And she was one of my YouTubers of the week. You know, every time you watch the one girl, I don't even want to say her motherfucking name. But what exactly she's going to talk about. And have an opinion like a motherfucker. This is Oxtails, baby. Hey, Alicia. Have an opinion like a motherfucker. The one girl talked about uh, B-Love's son, girlfriend, Nicole. Every video she talked about, I was like, why are you so mad? Are you so mad at this girl, Nicole? Why are you so mad? When you have that much of an opinion about somebody, it don't even be about being mad anymore. It's about your ass being jealous. It's about you being jealous. My thing is this. These channels out here either... You don't have shit else to talk about? Or you just very fucking unhappy to talk about people like that in these YouTube streets? I love Darius, folks jealous. Exactly. I misspelled your name, sorry. Hello, my love. Yes, yeah, some are repetitive on their channels. I know. Hey, Candy. First of all, I would not be wanting to be known for when you come on my channel, you know exactly what you're about to get. I mean, as far as same thing every damn day. 
David said, it's for the girls. Yes, he does. You know. And I know that being out here talking about folk, I know that that's a part of getting clicks and views. But every motherfucking day, the same person. Come on, somebody. And then, I was just going, you know, I was going through here. Yeah, I go through these YouTube streets and I watch other people shit. And exactly like that, this that's weird. I go, thank you, baby. I go through and look at a lot of people's channels. Some of them I will never comment it because they don't deserve my comment. <laughs> and I look and I'm like, wow. Here they go talk about the same old shit. What gets me is how they put the spin on what they think they heard. I be like, what? That's not what was they said. Exactly. You making me hungry. Oh, hey, Vanessa. Hey, Kimberly. And then you have some people that all they do is put other people down. That's their whole MO. Is put because you know what? Controversy sells. Controversy gets them likes and views. Controversy gets them likes and views. Controversy will get them super chat. But when you get on here, doing it because this is what you love to do, this is truly what you like to do, if this is what you truly love to do, hey, Karen, Neely, baby, I'm doing blah. Then all that other shit don't mean nothing. And what's for you is for you, and then God will bless you. I have truly been blessed doing this. Makes you wonder if they have any friends. I wonder. You have some channels where when you go on there, all you see them do is talk about other people, down other people. And the only time they lift them up is when somebody giving them a super chat. Then I still got some meat on. I know they are very, look. This oxtail is meaty as hell, y'all. Y'all see that? Look how meaty that oxtail. Look at that oxtail, y'all. And it, oh, shit. See how the meat falling off the motherfucking bone? That's because I ain't no one trick pony, baby. I'm going to show you some shit. Oh, but well, yeah, come on. That is my challenge. Do one motherfucking show. We don't do nothing but talk about yourself. Don't down nobody else. Do that for a week. That's my challenge, a week challenge. And I'm going to be the first person to do that. Starting tomorrow. Will we be transparent? Yes, I know that's why my will fall off the motherfucking bone. Do that make sense, y'all? I'm gonna go a week. And I ain't gonna talk about nobody else unless it's positive. Uplifted. But I would look. Do a this is my challenge, a weak challenge where all you do is talk about yourself. So they said do a whole month challenge. Mikey, that's a good challenge. I'm serious, and I'll be the first one to do it. Where for a week, I will come on 
and just show you my life. Talk about me. Show you my face and talk about me. Amen. This is South Carolina, Southern Bell. Yes, thank you, baby. Hannah. Now, what happens if you fail the challenge? <coughs> you just fail. But I'm just, you know, and I really want them channels that all they do is talk about other people. So I know that would kind of be hard for them. Oh, I'm glad you caught it too, Annette. You know, I ain't gonna lie, sometimes you get caught up in it and you want to go back and forth. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Kisses Carver said, oh my God, mine did not turn out like that. Mine did roll his eyes and walked off. Look delicious. <laughs> Thank you. My dog. Hello, Michael. How are you doing? I'm doing good, Latoya. But I'm just sitting here. It don't get better than that. But I was just sitting here, and I said, you know what, here I did. I got on live last night, I cussed, y'all know me. But you know what? I said, I just did, I made some money doing something I love to do, which was comedy. So why am I even giving bitches the time of day that don't deserve it? And so, but then as I woke up and I was warming up, my good ass oxtails. I also said, you know what? Some people just need a hug. Some people need to be uplifted. Exactly. So, do you get what I'm saying? Some people need to be uplifted. Those that are always lashing out. Those people that always don't have nothing positive to say. Unless it's benefiting them. Those are the people that need a hug. Hey, baby. Uh, what is that, Mina? Channel I used to watch. Not anymore, though. Too much hate. Screaming all the time. Has herself convinced the world's jealous of her. Wouldn't even have content without beloved family. Okay. Hello, my loose. Hannah says, I love the way you keep it real, Michael. You I'm just seriously. I am serious. Hey, Crystal. When you see somebody, as they said, they always think everybody's against them. I love Michael. Just be you. That's all that matters, boo. Thank you. But you know what? People's truths come out in these channels. You have some people over here thinking people don't like them, thinking people hate them. And people don't even be thinking about their ass like that. And my thing is this. If you concentrate on the ones that love you, you ain't got time to think about the ones that don't like you. You really don't. You know, I have been... Truly, truly blessed to be in these streets, not be monetized, and still it come out doing well. It's a lot of broken people on YouTube. YouTube need a disclaimer that says if you are me, suffer low self-esteem, addictive personality, then YouTube is not the place for you. You know, I used to do, if y'all look at some of my earlier videos, I used to do a disclaimer at the beginning of my videos. I love who you are how you look out for others. I try to do that. Those people, <laughs> okay, Karen, hey, Annette, Vanessa says, preach. I love that statement, Michael, I'm using that. Which one is that, I am Red Bone? People need weed and to relax. That will work, Spikey. That fella, like, hello, my love. You're so right. I am just saying, how do you just like a person you don't even know exactly? I'm getting you, Regina and Rainbow with Michael Lives here. But I, exactly. You have some people in these YouTube streets that just. And it took me out. Michael, I'm watching you eat my. You eating my sweet potato pie. 
I am just so serious about that. You have people out here that think they know other people lie. Focus on the ones you love that you don't have time for the ones that don't. Come on, somebody. I found you through your sister. I never miss Philly's lives or yours now. I truly appreciate how real you both are. Thank you. Thank you, proud nurse. And you know, one of the things that really gets me is they need to eat an edible gummy. Exactly. It's really when it comes to my sis. And when you hear them say, oh, she this, she's that, and you know that's not her, and anybody that truly looks at her and watches her channel knows that she's one of the most nicest people that will be the first one to help you out, be the first one to send you a cake, be the first one to tell you what you need to do. So when you dislike her, I don't get that. I really, really don't get it. She's a big girl, but I just don't get it. Hell, I got mad at her last night and hung up on her head. But that was me and her. I don't get it. So many other people in the world to have a problem with this. Somebody that's just on here on YouTube doing their thing. Not really hating on no damn body. Not the way some of these damn fucking channels hate on people. Ain't got shit to do but hate. We all know that one little light-skinned heifer. All she got to do is just talk, talk. And her voice is so fucking irritating. That's why she gonna be stuck right where the fuck she is. You don't prosper like that. Nothing but damn hate it coming out your damn mouth. And I just go through there, look at some of them down, and you know what? I don't even watch it because I don't even want to have a motherfucking view. <laughs> Look, y'all know I let people up, but some people, you just got to leave the fuck alone. Chatting with Common Sense, I was looking for you at Dark Dirty and Rock Just Living Live. Work. I miss my sis live, I guess. Uh, Keech, I just subscribed, but thank you, Regina, for... Uh, but let's say yes. Proud of us. Welcome to the community. Thank you. Hello, Lisa. How are you? Hey, Michael. 4C Game for Life. Checking in. We cannot be responsible to folks that cannot and will not live in their truth. So happy you are showing them how you live in yours. Thank you, Kimba. It's something in their life that they're not happy about. Exactly. Hey, Flavor T. Yes, absolutely. Words of a agree about your sis. I feel like if you don't like Philly Field, then you don't like nobody. Exact. If you don't like my sister, you don't like your damn self. I, that's just it. One minute somebody calling her weak. Next minute they say she evil. I'm like, what the, who the fuck are they seeing? Flavor T. Boo. Mike, you right at all points, sub. You got to just leave it alone. You do. You do. You know, I'm going to just say, I listen to one particular person. You all probably know who I'm talk talking about. When they did that video back on, they were, she was just screaming. It was like, rah, rah. It, it became to the point where I was like, damn, a nerve was really touched. People were saying, oh, my God, she sound crazy. She's going out of her mind. So that's how you know when you really point. You... But when all you are is a one-trick pony, you're going to defend like hell when somebody come for you like that. You're going to defend like hell when all you got is that one thing in your life. You ain't working no more. So this is your life. So I get it. When somebody attacks that, oh, you like a lioness defending her cub. Because that's all you got in life. That's all you got in life. What, Paul? 
looks torch. What does that mean? Misery loves company. Tell them your name is Michael. Not company to their misery. Exactly. Hood and this and exactly. I'm just saying. Thanks if you don't like Billy Bill something. Gotta be wrong. You cause you she don't cause I don't know. I like Billy Bill. She's so sweet. Hey Chad, sorry I'm behind I'm out walking in this hot sun. Hurt part like to hurt people. I just live and chatted with common sense. I only lost three pounds. Of, but I, my thing is this. Like me, I like a good back and forth. But when it gets to the point where it's now people benefiting from the back and forth, my thing is this. Just reach out to me. <laughs> I, I, I'm just saying. I get it. I get it. But when it, when is enough enough for this bit of folks? How long can you make content talking about people and being a bully? It gets old. It does. It does. Love to go on your channel and, and hear nothing but positivity. A person that gets poor right as a child has been placed as someone that can do no wrong, can become an adult that thinks the world revolves around and owes them something. Exactly, Sherry. Exactly. You know, somebody said, Michael, you know what? We love your cooking. We love your cooking show. Oh, I love when you with your mama. I love the. It's just not a one trick pony thing. You know, I have people that just like me for my prayers. Some people say, Michael, can you pray for me? Other people say, Michael, you make me laugh. See, all of those different facets. That's not being a one trick pony. All the negative characteristics they think they see in your sisters really their shortcomings and their projected or other. I know. I cannot believe so many people came at my sister because she didn't go off on that white man when he said, can I say the word nigger? Oh, they called her Sambo, her Uncle Tommy. But that was clicks and views for them. I didn't understand what they wanted her to do, cuss him out, jump the fuck up and kick his ass. You know, you damned if you do, damned if you don't. I went to bite Philly yesterday, being cute, cooking that seafood boy yesterday. I didn't watch her seafood boy because I got mad at her last night. I'm just saying, come on people, that's my challenge, for a week, talk about nobody but yourself, I wonder how many people do that, I'm wondering, how many people that can only talk about their job? I'm doing the good, Tammy. It's easy. All right, Spikey Spike, you have a good day. It's easy to talk about somebody else. Hell, that's I, that's what I do. But it's hard as hell to lift somebody up. It takes more energy. Michael, you need a spanker. Spank <laughs> me right, I might like. But I'm serious. Hey, sir. Hey, limited edition. Just two for a month straight. No, I said a week straight. Show your face. Like, let's be personable. 
in that whole video. I mean, some oxtail. Do a whole video. Becoming one with the camera. Hey. Talking about nobody but your damn self. Letting people get to know who you truly are. It wasn't in her character to react in a negative way. Exactly. Oh, it's so good. Let's make that happen, Michael. I'm there I throw this challenge out to these YouTube streams. And I'll be, I'll be the first one to start it. Tomorrow. I started on a Sunday, a good Sunday. But we ain't talking about nobody in no negative way. I'll be the first one to wave the white flag. I'll be the bigger person. I'm spitting all on my, <laughs> I got hot tail all on my damn phone. I'll be the big person. So when I say this, and I know it's going to be hard as hell for me to do, because y'all know me, I have a good cocktail. I'll be ready to cuss a bitch out. But for a week straight, I ain't talking about no damn body. I'm going to talk about me. I'm going to talk about me and uplift me and other people. I ain't all that damn dragging in the streets. I already got the motherfucking crowd. I ain't got to hell. Ain't nobody going to take it. But how about that? I'm talking about you negative Nancy's out there. You negative motherfucking Nancy's out there. When well, your whole channel is just based on talking about other people. How about this? For a week straight, talk about yourself. Hey, Miss Vicky, talk about yourself. Or lift other people up. Let's do that. Oh. Oh. That's just so good. Hey, Patricia. But I'm serious. Some of these cameras, all they do. And she said, I give it two days. For me, <coughs> better start Monday. Negative Nancy, okay, that is a new one. Yeah, it's really spinnable. I'm serious. I don't care if nobody else accepts it. I'm going to send you $2 for each day you positive. Just kidding, you worth more than that. I am serious. I don't know who else, who else is going to accept this challenge. But I throw this challenge to anybody ever got into it well. Yes, I do, Keisha. To everybody that I've ever said a negative thing about. For a week, you ain't going to get it. But after that week, I'm coming back to drag your way. No, <laughs> But I'm not, I, I'm serious. So I can say, oh, Michael, you weak, you punking out. No, having positivity is not punking out. It's just some people need to know how good it feels to just be you, talk about you, and leave other people alone for a minute. After that clapback came, will he, after that, the clapback came, will be back. <laughs> you got it. Okay, I'll just say, I have been blessed out by negative dances. It is what it is. Some people, you can tell the hurt in their voice. Sometimes, you gotta listen when people going off. You got to hear the hurt in their voice. Some people are hurt. 
truly, truly hurt. You don't know what it is that has happened in their lives uh, and things like that. So I think that I have, I mean, as comedians, we have to watch out for that. You know, sometimes you can tap into something and, you know, I don't want nobody going to commit suicide or no shit like that. And I thought about that. And that's what made me say, you know what? How about I just go a week? I ain't talking about nobody. Hey, Pisces away. Only uplifted folk. I'm not gonna put nobody down. Whether I like what they do or not, like what they say about me or not, I'm not gonna give that energy be energy back for one week. Hey, Patricia, I'm late. What you cook? What you eating? This is oxtail. That's true, Mikey. It's a lot of hurt. People going through some tough things. Exactly. Sending everyone a virtual hug. I do, too. True. Some people need to be uplifted and shown some kindness, and maybe the good will rub off on them. But it's some people so bitter and hateful and jealous of each other. That's all you can do. You know, everybody think it's a competition in these YouTube streets. If I get 100,000 likes, that's not going to stop you from getting your likes. Get your likes. I'm driving this still trying to watch you guys. You be careful. Don't have no accident out there. But I'm serious. If I win, you can't win. The only way I can... Rises by tearing you down. It's a lot of channels I don't like, but I ain't got to say I don't like them. I ain't got to do the whole damn video on them. And if y'all notice this, I never, ever came for anybody that didn't come for me first. Or my sis. But as I think about it, see, you can let some stuff go when you know you know. And I know that I'm not going to be a good person. Michael, what's your P.O. Box information, sir? It's uh, P.O. Box 442-446. Detroit, Michigan, 48244. Mikey, you got this challenge you will win. You know what? I know I can do this challenge because my whole day is full of positivity. My whole day is full of positivity. When I get on, I ain't cussing nobody out or whatever. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm uplifting people. I'm talking. You know, I'm calling other YouTubers trying to tell them what I think they need to do to better their channel. See, that's what it is. When you have people that want other people to hate on you, when you have other people on their platform talking about you and he ain't this and he ain't that and he's a motherfucking bitch and all of that, you cannot waver the people away that know me, that I call and I... And I'm saying uplifting words and all 